Remember when we uh, when we, we went HD for yeah. the first time in 720p? Yeah, well, we've got 1080 now. All right. Yeah, we got a lot of Ps, <laughs> not so many Ks. <laughs> Too many fucking Ps. That, that's the name of this episode. Too many fucking Ps. Too many Ps. Ps. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's uh, make a new game. Uh, I'm the one playing, so I probably should play on Rookie Explorer. You know, you do whatever feels most see. right to you. Uh, more experienced players. All right, well, I'm not these last two, so let's just go with <laughs> Rebel Agent. Okay. I feel like you are a fairly experienced Trash and Punk player. Yeah, and yeah. it's more experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Uh, oh. Yeah, so I do... I know they have a ton of accessibility and really awesome options in here. Uh, oh, yeah, lots. That's cool. Yeah, they did a ton of work on this, which is really awesome. This is so great to see. It's really amazing that they put the time and effort in for this kind of stuff. And for the, sure. Like, you know, on top of just how awesome it is in general, like, the older I get, the more I appreciate this kind of stuff. Yeah. Because I'm like, my hands hurt. <laughs> uh, so sometimes, like, being able to use different devices and changing everything around is really helpful. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're going right into the cutscene. We usually talk over the cutscene, but I kind of don't want to. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to listen to this one, because I'm very... Members of the Resistance, report to your nearest intake facility immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. We promise. It's a good fish, man. I recognize those things. Report to the VIP section of your nearest intake facility for compulsory behavioral modification. It will be fun. <laughs> fun. Your suit seems to be working nicely, blending right in. There is the assistant, and there is the infobot. Oh, infobot, huh? Oh, masterful work. Now get out of there and decrypt that thing. Where is the infobot? One size fits all, so it should. Thank you. Don't you think it's weird to throw a celebration for us? I mean, we haven't done anything heroic in <laughs> years. What if everyone thinks we're washed up? <gasps> oh, what if we are washed up? <laughs> Luckily, we will not need to perform any heroics. <laughs> Unless you count smiling and waving. <sighs> right. <laughs> <sighs> to the Grand Marshals of our parade, Ratchet and Clank! It's good. It's good. It works. <laughs> I, Captain Capone, 
Eurekis Leslie Guo will be your host. With me, Steve Alright, so uh, I'll turn the subtitles on. Uh, so I, the uh, the haptics in the controller were going off during the uh, oh really the movies yeah no, that's pretty neat. Uh, say something interesting while I'm doing this boring thing. I don't really have anything interesting okay. to say. I think everything looks really awesome. Wow, great looking everything right now. <laughs> the the clank and ratchet balloons yeah. materials are like at this distance. What? That's insane. This is a very, very pretty looking game, I wow. have to say. Our jaws are open right now. We, we, we can't talk. And... Yeah, this is so nice. Oh I'm sure at some point we'll get into talking about why we think it's so nice, but for now... Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> You know what's a small thing that we never used to be able to do is uh, they're animating Ratchet's mouth here during game like oh, yeah. we never had the opportunity to do that in the place. Like the idea that we have all those extra bones and animation in here, yeah, ludicrous. Yeah, but it adds a lot. Those are some nice. That's some nice crate particles. I gotta say. Oh, and the bolt sound comes through the controller. Nice. That's clever. Ha. Hollow statue. <laughs> Hit it with the wrench. Oh, I love it. Look at the confetti. Really great animation on everything, too. The ratchet moves really well. Like, the sound of that cat, the animation of that cannon going off. Looks amazing. You know, one of the things I was saying leading up to this was this game looks like it's just polished front to back. And I, I'm just seeing the level of polish in all these little details is, yeah. uh, is really crazy. Because that confetti, it looks so deep. Yeah. Like, I know how I would do this effect, right? I would have a whole bunch of confetti that's really close to the camera and make some of it small, so it looked like it was far away. But this looks way better than that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. One more confetti cannon. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, that good old bolt sound. <laughs> oh, they're just showing off. It's amazing. You can still do it while you're moving around. Oh, nice. That was a little convenience feature they added in the PS3 era, I think. Also, the gun, it has a click. Oh, yeah, yeah on the shoulder? It has the click, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I hear all the guns have different haptics, uh, so I'm very eager to hear it. Like, the idea that they can do that and have each gun actually feel, not actually be different on screen, but actually feel different in your hands. That's... It's pretty amazing that they can do that now. And, and this is kind of the perfect game for it, right? Since they yeah. have the different weapons. Right. I just learned how to get ammo. Right. So I'm shooting large ship balloons. <laughs> is this is this like the ship that the the boss was in on? Uh, it looks fairly similar. These are probably more like the ones from uh, Nexus. Oh, I know them. Oh, I know those guys.
<laughs> I'm glad that they gave you the pixelizer out of the gate, because that was definitely one of the best guns uh, in the last game. I had to blow it up because it was there. Okay, there's nothing over here. Just checking. Ah, uh, I love the cowering quirk. Yes. I hope this is not about your gift. Hurry, we must get to the front of the parade route. Oh, balloons. What happens if I don't? <laughs> That's a really gentle way to teach you that. I love that. Because you really don't want to kill you yet. Get wow. Away. Get away. Wow. What great. I mean, look at the background out here, man. It's incredible. Just these... The way that these scenes are all composed, all these shots, is so good. So every bullet that comes out of here, it kicks my finger back a little and, and vibrates the controller. Nice. So like, uh, when I hold it down, it feels it, like it's making it a little harder yeah, yeah, to aim. Yeah. It's interesting. Oh no, I don't want to kill it. Oh, an owl balloon. Yes. This is so well done. It's really nice. Cause uh, so the just before we oh there's there's dudes uh. The thing that I love about this is uh, when they introduced, like, Clank's ability there, it was sort of like, all right, here it comes. You know, like, it was the... Uh, they made it seem so awesome. Right, yeah, right? yeah. Like, he's in the air. Oh, no, Ratchet's falling. What's going to happen? Boom. Like, just the presentation is so... It's a very skillful way to get you to feel awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think also, like, if you, I, we were talking about how this is like taking some beats from Ratchet and Clank 2. And this is taking a lot of that same thing, right? They haven't been heroes for a while, but I think they're doing a really good job here of emphasizing that Ratchet's still a big deal. And that, yeah. you know, Ratchet's still awesome, and this is a really big event. And the, the scale that they're bringing to this opening, this is the opening sequence. Yeah. And just the scale and grandeur of this is absolutely crazy. Yeah. And it it's always a good idea to open strong. Yeah. Uh, and this is really strong. Oh my god, look at look at those. Those look so nice. How do you even like that can't all be Geo, right? Like, is that Shader, maybe? I don't know. That looks... Okay. So when I said all Geo, what I meant was, like, crafted out of polygons as opposed to uh, made to look 3D as a post-process effect, which I suppose doesn't really help very much if you don't know uh, what any of that things mean. But hey, we're just two idiots. You saw some thugs behind you. Did I? Oh, okay. The pixelizer didn't take my eye. Oh, that's. Cool. I love the new design on the uh, on the thugs for less. They look great. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop. I should have chosen the lower difficulty. What was I thinking? I just want to be liked too much by the internet. You're just in the tutorial, Mike. you got plenty of time. And I think you can also still change. Oh, wow, you already oh. up your gun. Okay. That's nice. 
I'm playing around with because you can change direction on your double jump flip. It's kind of cool. This kind of reminds me of the the boss fight in Ratchet 2 with the Thug Leader. Remember? I don't think this has the distance. Yeah. Oh no, it looks like it's getting. Here. No. Whoops. Oh. Be careful. You don't want to die in the opening sequence, Mike. That would be embarrassing. I've already admitted that the difficulty is higher than, you know, too rich for me. I love the animations on this. Yeah. Great animators on this thing. This is just great. Look at their... Like, this is a one-time custom animation <laughs> that the player can skip. Like, wow. I suppose the opening level is a really good place to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's where you have to make the most impact, right? Yeah. Considering that our event seems to be under assault, I will cut to the chase. Ratchet, I do not know where I would be without you. You are my closest friend. My teammate. And you have given up a lot, too. I have repaired the Dimensionator, so you can travel through dimensions and find your family. No, oh, uh, pal, I... What? <laughs> Dr. Nefarious? Ratchet and Clay! Yes! Wonderful surprise! I didn't expect to see you here. Considering my tones were meant to annihilate you eight minutes ago. <laughs> what do you want, Nefarious? Yes. I love his eyes. His eyes look amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. You got the lenses and they're like, oh, so good. <laughs> His ship was shaped like a Dr. Nefarious balloon. Tell me we got some Lawrence action. The symbolism of Dr. Nefarious towing cap. Captain Cork like that is not lost on me. Yeah. The level of detail on every single little thing. Yeah. I, I mean, we've been saying wow a lot, but like, seriously. Unbelievable. That was a load. What we just saw was a level load. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? What? I should have known that Farius would try something like this. Don't beat yourself up. This will be just I think this like is a new level. Come on. It looks like I think this is the uh, demo level that they were showing off in that early trailer. We should grab a weapon. So should we Close that off and start another one? Yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. All right, well, this this was two idiots talking about a game. I mean, barely. Yeah, I mean, barely <laughs> talking about it. Just two idiots sitting here with our jaws on the floor. I mean, uh, first impressions, Mike. Let's just, let's actually get a chance to give some first impressions on this one. Holy shit, man. Incredible, right? Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I... I mean, that's the first 20 minutes of the game, and we're already just, like, blown away. Yes. Yeah. I, can't, I can't imagine what's coming, 
what's coming from here. I'm looking forward to getting jaded enough on it that I can start talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It's great to see Dr. Nefarious again. Yes. It's great to see Captain Quark Top again. of his game. Uh, you know what? And one thing I will say right now that I think they're doing a really good job of that I feel like in all those early games we didn't do too great. Um, the bond between Rash and Clank. Yeah. Very solid right now in this so far. Yeah. Like, I'm glad that they're playing that up. Really playing up the bond that those two have. Uh, making them a, a proper team. Really good job. And I was mentioning I liked his uh, material more. Like, when you see in the cutscenes, it's a little bit more matte and less reflective. I really like that look. Because on the PS2, it sort of looked like Clank had gray paint. Yeah. Uh, and that, to me, was always, like, a big part of him. So, like, if you look at his hand... It's that more matte, painted look, uh, based on the shading here. Okay. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so we're we're gonna start. We're gonna stop and then start a new one later. And uh, all right. Yeah. See you next time.